The Holy Bible portrays God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit as having always existed as well as indicating that they will exist forever. That means God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit have eternal existence. They have been existing right from the beginning and before the beginning and they will continue to exist forever. Their existence is from everlasting to everlasting. The existence of God, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit are from everlasting to everlasting. In Psalm 93 verse 2, Psalm 93 verse 2, it says, Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. That means the God we serve has been from beginning, he has been from everlasting to everlasting. The God we serve has been existing before the beginning. He knows the beginning and He knows the end. Thy throne is established of old. Thy throne is established of old. So the throne of God has been before the beginning. The throne of God has been established before the beginning. He is the ancient of days. The ancient of days is the oldest among the living creatures in the physical realm and in the spirit realm. In the realm of the spirit, he is the ancient of this because his throne is established of old. Le brakush kalabala kwatabala. Le kado seke unakia kabara kwatege. Neke de barush kilebala. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 40, Deuteronomy chapter 32, chapter 32 verse 40, please can we read this together? It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. You see, I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. There is a God that lives forever. God lives forever. And no mortal man, no mortal being can stop his existence in this universe. Can a mortal man stop the existence of an immortal man? It is impossible. Can a mortal man stop the rain of an immortal man? It is impossible. God live forever. Li garush kalabala. Le beketo hugagia. Labro kutumba lakia kari. In Revelation, in Revelation, chapter 22, verse 13, it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That was Jesus Christ. Apart from the fact that God the Father has eternal existence, Jesus Christ also possesses eternal existence. Jesus Christ 
is from everlasting to everlasting. Jesus declared, I am the Alpha and Omega. Jesus made this declaration unto John the Beloved at the island of Patmos. When he received the mystery in the book of Revelation, Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. You see, the Alpha and Omega are the first and the last letters of the Greek alphabet. And it is used there, used together to depict Jesus Christ spanning all times. Jesus Christ reign from the beginning to the end. I am Alpha and Omega. I have dominion from the beginning to the end. I am the first and the last to do exploits in the universe. So Jesus made this declaration that is the totality of creation and recreation. Jesus is the totality of creation and recreation. And the power of this eternal existence has been delivered unto the church. The church possesses this power. The body of Christ is the carrier of this eternal power. The power of eternal existence is in the church. In Romans chapter 6 verse 9. Romans chapter 6 verse 9. Legado skete barakwata bala. He said, Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death has no more dominion over him. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, Dieth no more, death has no more dominion over him. That is the power of eternal existence. Death has no more dominion over Christ Jesus. He has prevailed over the power of death. And if Christ dwells in the church, we have the power. That is greater than the power of death. Though we die in this physical world, but in the realm of the spirit we live. So Christ went to the realm of the dead and delivered the spirit of just men so that they can be made perfect. Our spirit has been made perfect. We have dominion over the power of death. That means the church is a partaker of this eternal existence. The church is a partaker of the mystery of eternal existence. Lebakosh kalabala kwatabala. Liga ge katunda baya kwatabala. Neke de katwa kabala. E katwa kabala kwa. The rapture of the saints, the rapture of the saints that will take place in the last day is one of the manifestations of the mystery of eternal existence. Without this mystery of eternal existence, without this mystery of eternal existence, there is nothing like rapture. And there is nothing like the resurrection of the dead. That means, the power of eternal existence is responsible for the rapture of the saints and the resurrection of the saints. Barush kalabala katwa kabala. 
li gege kota bala kwata kabaya yeke de bara the holy spirit of god is the carrier of the power of eternal existence li garush ke de baru shebe lege de kato ambala in the gospel of john chapter 14 Verses 16 to 17. Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 16 to 17. It says, "And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever." Who is this Comforter? He said, "Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because He seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him." But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You see, Christ Jesus prayed to the Father that was after his resurrection by engaging the mystery of his blood to deliver the spirit of resurrection to the church. Another comforter is the Holy Spirit. that we abide with us forever abide with us forever which means the eternal existence of god the spirit has the capacity the spirit has the capacity to dwell with us forever that means the spirit has that eternal nature the power of eternal existence And you can see the cooperation of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in the delivery of this power of eternal existence into the church. By the cooperation of the Godhead, we have access to the eternal power of God. Li gado skete barusha la bala. Like the battles that the Barukaba, the Katwa Kaba Yakata, the world cannot receive this spirit, and that is why they cannot live forever. But because you have access to that spirit, you can live forever. Though you are changed from this physical world to the spirit world. But you shall rise again. Your spirit still live in the realm of the spirit, though you are dead in this physical world. But you shall live in the spirit world. Ligados kete barush kalabala, lepatos kete ba. He says, even the spirit of truth. That means without revelation knowledge, there is no how you can put the spirit of God to work. The spirit of revelation knowledge, the spirit of truth. The truth here means revelation knowledge, complete and perfect revelation knowledge of God. Without the perfect revelation knowledge of God, there is no how you can demonstrate the power of eternal existence. Ligarosh kete barosh kalaba, le bakos kete baruka ide. le bakush kalalala le gedeke tote ineke ude rapatos kete barush kalabala yes lord in hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 it says how much more shall the blood of christ you see who through the eternal spirit Offered himself without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. You see. So Jesus offered his own blood as a sacrifice for his church. Jesus offered his own blood as a price for the church. He bought the church. by the price of his blood through the help of the eternal spirit 
the Spirit of God empower Jesus to offer himself without spot to God. So Jesus offered himself without any fault, without any blame, without any blemish, without any stigma, in order to redeem the church. And he has purged our heart, our conscience from dead works. So by the mystery of the spirit of eternal existence, our conscience has been purged from dead works. That means as from today, every dead works in your arena shall receive life. Every dead part of your destiny shall receive life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not permitted to demonstrate dead works. Because the spirit in the church is the spirit of life, not the spirit of death. You cannot carry the spirit and be manifesting dead works. It is impossible for your business to be dead. It is impossible for every works of your hand to be dead. So far you are in Christ Jesus and you carry the spirit of Christ by the cooperation of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. You are to demonstrate life. The eternal spirit is in you while you are on it, and that is why you can manifest the power of eternity in the realm of humanity. It is impossible for you to carry this spirit and not demonstrate power. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit have eternal existence. And the power of this is eternal existence is in the church. You have the power. Because the God that live forever, you shall live forever. <laughs>